Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The gotcha is one of the best known flats patterns ever devised and has proven itself particularly effective on bonefish. Although this version was specifically designed for fishing the flats around Christmas Island, it will work on most any saltwater flat worldwide. The Christmas Island gotcha starts with a size 2 heavy duty saltwater hook. Prior to tying, make sure the hook is well secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Load a bobbin with a spool of fire orange 6 0 thread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the eye and after taking 10 or so rearward wraps, snip off the excess tag. Continue taking a few more rearward wraps, then advance your thread forward so it hangs a full eye length back from the back edge of the hook eye. Pick up one of the pairs of gold bead chain eyes and lay them in a perpendicular orientation on top of the hook shank. The front edges of the eyes should be a full hook eye length back from the back edge of the hook eye. Begin securing the eyes to the shank with cross wraps of tying thread, followed by yoke wraps which go over top of the eyes on either side but beneath the hook shank in a mini side to side tug of war. Follow the yoke wraps with circular flat wraps which go below the eyes but above the hook shank. This will draw all the previous wraps in tight to really lock the eyes in place. Make sure they're perpendicular to the hook shank and flat on top of it. Now, snip four to five strands of hot orange crystal flash free from the hank. Find the approximate midpoint of the strands and lay it on top of the hook shank behind the bead chain eyes and directly above your tying thread. Take a few thread wraps to anchor the flash there, then pull the forward pointing portion of the material back on top of the hook shank to join it with the rearward pointing portion. As you pull up and slightly toward you on the material, bind it to the top of the hook shank with tight wraps of tying thread all the way back to the start of the hook bend. Trim the material off to form a tail about a hook shank in length. Make open spiral wraps to advance your tying thread forward all the way to the back edge of the bead chain eyes. Next, pick up a hank of pearl flashaboo and snip a dozen or so strands free. Lay one end on top of the hook shank behind the eyes and take nice tight thread wraps to secure it to the top of the hook shank all the way back to the base of the tail. Begin taking wraps with the flashaboo behind your tying thread. Continue making slightly overlapping wraps as you wrap forward up to the bead chain eyes. Once there, bring your tying thread forward to in front of the eyes and take a few wraps. Make some cross wraps with the flash -aboo between the eyes to fill in that space. Then, anchor the flash in front of the eyes with wraps of tying thread and snip the excess material off close. Continue taking thread wraps to cover up the butt ends of the flash -aboo. Reach for your whip finish tool and use it to do a 5 or 6 turn whip finish to secure your tying thread prior to the next step. Flip the fly over in the jaws of your tying vise so the underside of the hook faces up. Snip an additional 3 or 4 strands of fluorescent orange crystal flash free from the hank and find their midpoint. Anchor that midpoint to the hook shank in front of the eyes, then fold the forward pointing portion back, checking to make sure it's the same relative length as the rear portion. Pull it back forward and continue to bind the material down so it looks about like this. Snip a fairly ample clump of tan arctic fox fur free from the hide and strip out some of the lower, shorter underfur. Measure so the tips of the hair extend rearward about the same length as the recently tied in orange flash. While keeping this measurement, snip the excess butt ends off square. Anchor the butt ends to the hook shank in front of the eyes with tight wraps of tying thread. You really don't want the fur to pull free. Pull the forward pointing portion of the orange crystal flash rearward and pin it down over top of the arctic fox with tight wraps of tying thread. Continue taking thread wraps up to the back edge of the hook eye, then begin taking rearward wraps to cover up all the materials beneath and form a neat, fairly short head on the fly. Reach once again for your whip finish tool and use it to do another 5 or 6 turn whip finish 
seat the knot really well, and snip or cut your tying thread free. The final step is to get hold of some head cement, here Sally Hansen hard as nails, and use it to completely coat the exposed thread wraps in front of the bead chain eyes. In the end, the Christmas Island Gotcha should look something like this. There are not many saltwater fly patterns that can rival the Gotcha.